here in this video we'll talk about Kirchhoff's law and we're going to use Kirchhoff's law to find out the current in each resistor okay so we have three resistors here 30 ohm 10 ohm and 20 ohm and two potential source here or two batteries and now we have to find out what are the current in each resistor and we can also solve what is the potential drop across each resistor let's do it the first thing while solving this kind of problem is to find out or to assume the direction of the current here I'm choosing this as my direction so this is I1 so it will be I1 here and then I'm just considering this as an I2 and this is an I3 here okay so if I'm considered this as an I2 then the current through this 20 ohm will be I2 because it has the same path here and then through this 10 ohm resistor it will be I3 and at this point this I3 and I2 will add together and it will be I1 or as I1 is passing here it has to have the same current I1 so after defining the current direction now we're going to choose the loop direction here I have chosen this loop here and you can choose this loop direction either to be clockwise or anti-clockwise I have chosen this one as clockwise direction in both cases it's entirely up to you to choose either as a clockwise or anti-clockwise it doesn't matter at all okay so now let's first now apply the junction rule at this point here the junction rule allows you to give a relation between the currents so at this point the incoming current is i1 and the outgoing currents are out i2 and i3 incoming current has to be equal to the outgoing currents so i1 has to be equal to i2 plus i3 because this is the incoming current at this junction and these are outgoing i2 and i3 must be equal okay so now let's apply the voltage loop in this equation now so in this loop let's start with r1 here the current is in this direction upward and the travel or the loop direction at this point is also upward if both are in the same direction then the voltage drop across this one is considered negative so I'm writing down negative and the voltage drop across this one would be I1 times R1 okay I1 times R1 R1 is 30 ohm and I1 so now let's come here now in this case and I'm remember this is here the loop here so we will not take the, this loop into account we're only talking about this loop here okay at this loop the current is in the downward direction the current and what is the loop direction this is also downward both are again in the same direction parallel direction so again negative and i3 times the 10 ohm so that's the voltage because v equals to ir okay so that's this the the voltage here and then we have to take the potential difference across this one so in this case look at the loop direction the loop not the current direction the loop direction is from positive to negative if it is from positive to negative then we take as a negative and now finally we have this here this battery here and in this case the current sorry the the travel direction is this one the travel direction is going from negative to positive if it is going from negative to positive then we just take it as a positive so 20 minus 10 this is simply equal to 10 
So this is our equation number two. Now let's apply the loop equation in this loop now. Okay. So let's start from here. So current is in the downward direction. At this point, the loop is in upward direction. Both. So the current is in the downward direction and the loop is in the upward direction. That means opposite direction. If it is opposite, then we just take it as a positive I3 times R3. And what is and what is R3 here? R3 is 10. So it will be simply equal to 10 times I3. Okay. And then let's go to this voltage here. This voltage. The loop direction is from negative to positive. Okay, because the loop, you see, this is the loop direction here. It's from negative to positive. If it is from negative to positive, we just take it as a positive here, 10. And the last one is we have this resistor here. This resistor. In this case, the current is in the downward direction and the loop is also in the downward direction. So if for, for the resistor, loop and the current and the loop are in the same direction, we just take it as a negative. So it's a negative here. And 20 times I2, that's what it is here, 20 times I2. So now I'm arranging this one, rearrange. So rearrange, dividing by 10 on both sides. If I divide by 10, then I'll get 2I2. If I divide by 10, this equal I3 and plus 1. This equals to 0. Just to make life simpler. Okay. So now we have three equations. 1, 2, and 3. And three unknowns. I1, I2, I1, I2, and I3 are unknowns. So we can solve it. So how do we do that? So let's first plug in this equation 1 into equation 2. So I'm going to plug this into this equation. See here, minus 30. So I have minus negative 30 here. Instead of I1, I'm going to use I2 plus I3. So I2 plus I3. Okay. And then the rest is the same. Minus 10 I3 plus 10 equals to 0. And if I do the math, what I will get? Negative 30 I2, negative 30i3, 10i3 plus 10 equals to 0. And then I'm div So this 30i2, so here 30i2, and then I have 30i3 three, minus 10i3. It will be negative 40i3. And I also have divided by 10 on both sides. So if I divide by 10, it will get 3i2. And these two terms together is 40. And if I divide it by 10, I'll get 4i3. And if I divide it by 10 here, I will get 1. This equals to 0. And now I can solve these two equations by using the symbol lab or by using the calculator. And if we solve it, so you have two simultaneous equations. And once you solve it, this is the answer you will get. I2, you will get 5 over 11. And I3, you will get negative 1 over 11. What does the negative sign mean? So the negative, I th this is negative. What this means, instead of the current is going in this direction, the current should be going in the upward direction here. So that's what negative means. So again, if you choose, if you just choose the directions randomly, the answer will tell you in which direction it has to go. So here I have chosen this as my positive direction, but the answer is negative. That means the current should be flowing in this direction. Okay. So I got I2 and I3 and I1 should be equal to I2 plus I3. You see here, I1 is I2 plus I3. If I add them together, then this is the answer we'll get. Okay, and you can verify this one using the fade simulation. Let's do it quickly. So here, using a fade simulation, here I have verified here, 30 ohm, 10 ohm and 20 ohm resistors. You see here, this is the 10 ohm, 30 ohm resistor, and 
and you can see here the current is in the upward direction here and then using this one we can measure here 0.36 and this one is 0.09 this one is 0.45 this is exactly equal to the current we calculated by this technique so if you just uh, you just need to do in decimal okay and using this fade simulation you should be able to do exactly the same same thing so this is it from this uh, video if you have any questions and last thing i'll just like to mention here if you know, like to know how to solve it so go to the symbol lab and type in your equation as it is here so once you type in your equation it should give you the, all the answer here 5 will be 11 over 1 over 11 okay so i'll talk about the symbol lab in a separate video if you have any questions write down your questions in the comment section below and do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel